Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. From the 22nd of July, that's a Monday, to the 28th Sunday okay. of July. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, the 17th edition. What should people expect this time? More of it. God has been so faithful. We've seen, by His grace, 16 successful Azusas. The testimonies are bound. People are so lifted, revived, miracles. So, but uh, this will be like no other. It's the beginning of another level of Azusa we're, we're, we're faced with. That. All right, I'd like to find out from you who I know because I know that over the years we've always had different ministers of God coming to talk to the people of God. Who and who are we having this time? I'm going to start having a pastor. Are you? Are you a for for four years? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Reverend uh, Sam Tukura. Okay, it's from here. Uh, Bishop Godio Kafka. Okay. He lives in Abba. He has okay. a church in Abba there. I have another apostle, Howard Hines from South Africa. Okay. Yeah, then uh, all that, a lot of other uh, speakers. Okay, I, I understand that some gospel artists yeah. are also going to take part in this year. Yes, yeah, we're going to have yeah, can we? over 20 of them. Okay, who are from Choma Jesus to Frank Edwards to Messi Chigo to Judo K to Wale Oni. Okay. And, Felix Duke, Rugged Man, Righteous Man, uh, so many of us. I want like to take you back a little. What do you normally consider before arriving at the choice of ministers you normally invite to come and uh, minister? Yeah, I'm very careful because of the times we're in. There are so many strange ministers who are preaching so many different doctrines. So I make sure that the people I, I invite are people who know that we need a revival, you know. Uh, this is not a place for entertainment or motivation speaking. This is not a place, it's not a conference of motivation. It's a conference to challenge people, for them to know that we are not where we should be as a, as a, as a body of Christ. There's, there's something we have lost. We can't let it remain like that. So we've got to make people remember how it was in the book of Acts and how it was in the Azusa, the first revival in 1906 that brought in this real Pentecostal movement and that they gave birth to four square assemblies of God, Church of God in Christ and so many other denominations. They came out of this, the first Azusa revival in 1906. And, and that's the kind of thing we're looking at. The time is short. Jesus is coming back soon and we can't keep playing church. So we need to visit what used to happen and Believe God for even a greater happening this time. All, all right. Before we come back to Azusa again, you said something that I would love to take you upon. Repeatedly, people have always said, you know, that they keep hearing that Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, yet He hasn't come. When exactly is Jesus going to come? Nobody knows when He will come. In fact, the Bible says that some have said, because He has not come, all this time that He may not come again. But the Bible tells us that His coming will be like a thief in the night. You know, and that, that knowledge nobody has except the Father. You know, and the Bible says that it's not really for any man to perish. And that's why he has all come all this while, because the love of God does want to see people in hell. And once it comes, all those who are outside of him are, are, are lost for life. So he's allowing people in more time, you know, to get them to be in, come in contact with the gospel and repent. Because that's what it's all about. The, the, the desire of God is to see people repent, accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and then everything, all the other things will follow. All right, I, I would like to find out from you, in 16 years of Azusa, what hasn't God done that you'd like him to do in this 17th oh, no, I, edition? The fact is, that I, I've not seen the, I've not seen what I, what I, what he has put in my heart about this Azusa. You know? 
it's supposed to be heralding a major revival. That has not happened. It has happened to individuals because some have caught the fire and they're running with it. But we're talking at a time where it will affect not just the church, but the nation. When, when, crime, when, when Jesus will affect crime and affect kidnapping and affect, that's, that's what revival is all about. Everything is affected. When there's a presence of, when the move of God affects everything. Some countries that experience revival have had their prisons cleaned out. You know, policemen were jobless. You know, because there was no, no evil boys. Everybody had been touched by God. And, you know, that's the kind of thing. It affects the crop, it affects agriculture, it affects every aspect of life. Oh, all right. In the 16 years that we have had Azusa, what would you describe as the greatest miracle? One singular miracle that it's, has done. It's one. hard. It's hard for me because I've, I've seen many. That, that these twins are 14 years old now. They were here doing our one of the Azusas. That, that's about um, the, about the Azusa. That was the third one or so. The twins. The mother was barren for many years, and they came from Abba. Our church in our band. In the left hand, we got two kids, twins. Now they have us, they're 14 years old. Okay, maybe it's 15 now. You know, and there's so many other things. Like, well, encounters are, 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 are numerous. You know, people have had revelations of many, many supernatural things. So I, I, do, I, I can't even use this one out because all of them have their own pattern. Okay. I'm very, very powerful because these are things that are not just for one year they, they've been for long they've been from then it's been like ever better you know it's like ever increasing you know so it, it's amazing but you know we cannot quanti you cannot really quantify spiritual things you know the, the, the revelations people have had the encounters people have had uh, the decisions to be to, to go for God is, is huge you know God touching a man or a woman to say, listen, I'm going to give up this kind of lifestyle. I'm going to give up sin. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to if I perish, I perish. Such, such testimonies are priceless. You know, when you, when you realize that God is everything. I don't need to be in sin. I don't need to be living a deceitful life and a sinful life. I want to, I want to serve God with everything that I have. That's powerful because most people don't want to do that. Most people want to hold on to some things and still hold on to God. So they're just like that for years and for years. And you know, But it gets to a time when God says, listen, I want all. You know, let go of this lifestyle. Let go of this thing. Let go of these people. And follow me. Take up your cross and follow me. That's it. Basic. Think about Christians. You, know, you cannot have your life and live it. You have to lose your life to get it. I would like to find out from you, if by chance, let's say you're walking along the road and somebody happens to meet you, someone is opportune to meet you, and the person says to you, oh, Apostle, I'm so happy to, to meet you. I understand you're having a, a program called Azusa. Can you tell me about Azusa and why you think I should attend the program, the, the, the one with program, what, how would you go about telling people about Azusa? Yeah, this, this, this is, like I said, it's not, for, it's not to teach you how to make money, it's not to teach you how to buy a house or buy a car, no, it's not, it's, it's about, it's to create a hunger for God. For those who are tired, you know, who want to um, see God, they want to have an encounter, they want, they don't want religion, you know, they don't want something that is empty, you know, Many people go to church, but there's no no stuff, no substance. You know, so I'm going to tell you, if you want to receive what God has for you, then this is the place to come. The Bible says we should seek first the kingdom of God and His right and all other things. We are not majoring on all those things. We are majoring on the kingdom, the Lord, get His spirit, get His heart, get His mind. Then, as we are doing that, He will bring other things because He knows we have needs. But we don't put the knees, we don't like to teach people how to make money. Whereas we don't, we're not even caught in a glimpse or a hold of this God. You understand what I'm saying? So I'll tell the people, if you want God, then come. But if you want, uh, <laughs> if you want to, if you want to buy a plane, you're not even here. 